Hello and welcome to Spectrum Rec Room Edition. I got seven builders behind me here today uh, who will be telling you whether they agree or disagree with a lot of different statements. Thanks a lot to the builders who decided to show up today and uh, thank you for watching. Let's get right into it. We'll start with something simple. I enjoy building. In my opinion, working alone is very boring and I don't really like it. It kind of makes me upset. But when I'm working with my friends, then I would go with agree. I'm saying I slightly agree kind of for the same reason as um, Min. Um, but uh, I, I do enjoy building when I'm building with um, other people, but I'm mainly just building with other people, so I don't have that kind of sort of building alone. I am self-taught. All right, yeah, so I started back in 2018 and I did not know how to use any of the uh, creation tools. I usually only made stuff with the pre-made shapes, so no tubes at all. Uh, people really despised uh, tube back then, but then moving forward, people started working with it and it just got a little bit easier, but... Um, I never really went to a class or something to learn how to build. I just figured it out on my own. Back in the day when I first started building, I pretty much didn't know anything. But I, I met uh, Skull in a room and we became like really good friends. And um, I, just, I pretty much just watched him build and that's how I learned. Uh, so I've been um, building since I was a really low level. And I never went to a maker pen class until I was level 50. And um, when I was in those maker pen classes, I pretty much already knew everything. I just learned like some things that actually um, made me build better because those things that I've learned, I they were actually really important and I just didn't know about them. Maker pen classes are a good way to learn how to build. Um... Yeah, I'd... <laughs> I had to think for a second. I didn't learn anything from any class that I took, but you should definitely take my class because you should learn how to build. I don't know how to feel about this one. I put slightly agree because yes, it can be really good. It's it's always a really um, efficient way to learn how to build if you learn from other people because they went through what you're going through and they know exactly what to like point you towards to put you on the right track to like learn what you need to learn it's like it it, it depends on what you need uh, mm -hmm. or what you what you want to learn essentially it's 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 really a more of like a it depends kind of deal it just depends on your teacher really because some teachers just like throw something up and they're like yeah just make this while other teachers like take everything slowly and let like the students yeah. catch up and then they move on when everyone's finished and it's a lot easier that way. Yes. I, well classes, um, they can be good but they can be bad at the same time. I'm just, I'm just gonna say disagree. Basically you, you need a good teacher and a good learning environment to learn from classes. I mean, I mean sure you could learn a little bit from taking a class but it's just really chaotic. Anyone can build. <laughs> Define build. <laughs> yeah. yes. You're the builders Define here. You should know what building is. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Yeah. Mm. There's different kinds of builders. Because, like, the average, like, level 40 who thinks of all that, uh, who uses all inventions, and uh, all their rooms are, like, some trashy, like, role-play rooms. They can't build. Or, like, some militaries. Yeah. I wouldn't call them builders, but like builders are like people who can make a decent map that doesn't want people to, you know, die. <laughs> I strongly agree with you. So I kind of, I kind of interpreted the question a little bit differently. It's just that like anyone can build, but not everyone wants to learn how to build. Just because some people, when they build rooms don't exactly build they throw in a bunch of inventions or they uh like 
I don't know, they just make like really low effort rooms, that doesn't mean that if they wanted to learn, they can't learn how, like, they can't learn how to build, they can. I had no clue what I was doing when I started, and it's the only thing I do, and I need to go touch grass now. It's, it's just a matter of, do you want to put in the effort? It's not really, uh, like, a talent that you need to be born with, you know? I was kind of thinking the same, like, like Brody. Um, everyone can build, but can they have like good original ideas and um, make what they what they want to do make it look good? Building is profitable. <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> See, I was gonna go all over there, but um, I like if we're talking about like real world. Like, I slightly disagree because most people who build in the game don't get, like, anything in the real world. But some people who have, like, you know, a million subscribers can, like, cash out, like, a thousand dollars. So, that's why I'm not strongly disagree. The definition of profit would be just gaining in, like, mon you, you get monetary gain from doing something. You get more than you put in. If you can put in like eleven dollars a month for rec room plus or seven dollars a month i don't know depends on where you're from um that said like it's if you can if you can pull a hundred dollars really easily from rec room which a lot of people think it's like this really really difficult task if you know what you're doing you absolutely could from scratch just end up getting there as long as you have the right sources it's quite easy to like make a profit from rec room what's more difficult is making a consistent profit from Rec Room. People that make dorm skins, they could just make it in like less than a week or they could make even two in a week. And when they get featured, they like make a lot of money. So they're like making like a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars a month. And it's crazy how much they make from it. So mm -hmm. it's definitely profitable once you know what you're doing. A lot of people don't know about that. So when they make inventions, they just publish them, hoping that they do well. And that's, that's why a lot of people uh, who try to make inventions don't see it as like any potential but if if you know where to go to get the like what is it what is the word i'm looking for what, yeah the exposure does, someone help me here i don't know the exposure yes thank you that's the word i was looking for if, if you know where to go for to get that then you can absolutely uh, succeed from inventions building takes no skill <laughs> what kind of a question? <laughs> <laughs> Building isn't all about skill. There's still technique that you can use. Or you could just get everyone else to build for you. And then that's the problem solved. <laughs> come, come, come. Pay <laughs> everyone. I should do that from now on. Exactly. <laughs> Building takes skill because you can't just join Rec Room. Like, I didn't just join Rec Room and start building. The reason, like, I got, like okay at building like right now what I'm at is because I uh, just trial and error which developed like skill for you I wouldn't call it like you're born with skill to build in rec room but like you have to get it so not everybody come up and like start building like contests rooms like it's not how it works I'm only one slot over because of the simple reason that inventions exist if inventions didn't exist, I'd be over there. But because people can just spawn in other people's work and call it call themselves a builder, then that is uh, that's the only reason why I'm here. Because that doesn't take any skill. It's just pressing a couple buttons and bam, you have Master Chief in your room. You know. But it still means you know? that building still does take skill because they didn't build yeah. it; just put it in there. They are it's very not talented their own at pressing creation. buttons. Well. <laughs> That's the thing again, is it's going back to people's um, people's definition of what it means to be a builder. Some people call that a builder. I don't agree with that at all. I don't think that it, spawning in inventions it, it, and calling yourself a builder should be what a builder is. But if you ask the people who spawned in the inventions and that make those rooms, they probably call themselves a builder. I, I sort of agree because like the amount of times I looked at the hot page and just seen Super PvP meme, 1,100 visits, so good, and I'm drifting away. <laughs> and then the guy, the host is just there, what, just shouting the M-word, be like, I'm such the best builder ever. Ooh. <laughs> it is annoying. 
Stop. I'm just gonna start making costume vibes, poppy playtime, hangout RP, PvP, <laughs> number four, five, nine. Let's just let's just go yeah. and destroy. Let's just ben all ben build ball. invention yeah, rooms. Talking ben. Building gets boring very quickly. <laughs> Dude, I'm immediately never 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 moved that fast. I was gonna go over there because that's a lot of the time that I build because I have an idea and then I build like a building in the map or maybe the terrain and then I just get bored and don't finish it but like I slightly agree because some people when they get like really into it which happens sometimes it's like a rare occurrence when you have a really good idea that you can just build non-stop for like a week first we're sending uh, on the agree side I on agree because uh... Um, I feel like building alone is definitely always boring to me. Um, but um, when I build like with other people, like when we build a map, we were just always like listening to music. We always had fun. It was like never boring. So I guess whenever you build with people and there's like a good chemistry and everyone is like funny, everyone is in a good mood, it's like always fun building. It doesn't get boring then, but if you build alone, it's a completely different thing to me. I, I'm just really not motivated to build alone. I don't know, I just get bored really quickly when I build. It's like I, I, I would start something and then I wouldn't know how to like continue it. And it just gets boring. I'm sure you probably expected this question going into this. Then you, make your pen UI is better. Oop, there it is. Uh, I'm go okay. It's not uh, even a question. I was going to strongly agree, but I came back here because there's two different parts of it for me. When I'm building on my own, like the settings are all right next to each other. I can build really fast with the new UI. Even though I like the colorful buttons and the 2D buttons on the old one, I wish they would implement that on this one because I love the like 3D buttons and all that stuff. But, but why I'm not on strongly agree is because when I'm trying to teach somebody the new UI, it is the most complicated thing, like, because it's like, it's like you gotta click over science. here, then here, then here, then here. But the old UI, it's like a giant button that says, press this, you know. There are some flaws with the new UI, which is, I think, um, like, as, like, overall, it is an improvement in the sense that it has more things you can do with it. You can pop out the menus and have different, uh, like, you can just have them sitting out so you can like easily access them really quick and then there is some problems with it where basically in comparison to the old UI there's a few issues one of them every like prop or uh, gadget or circuit anything like that they take up so much more space so now if you want to scroll to find something you got to scroll long Plus, it's not in the same order as it used to be. When they first released the new UI, I was really missing the old one because I was like, oh, no, no, I got to, like, find out where everything is and I basically got to, like, learn it again. But then I was, like, immediately building a room and I had to work with it, like, a lot more and I noticed that I just work a lot faster due to the fact that I can just, like, pull out, like, my three screens next to me. I have, I have everything there and I do not have to look at my maker pen the whole time anymore. I have just everything in front of me. Everything's just way faster. In my opinion, it's like filtered way more better. Um, I just work way more better with the new UI than I did with the old one. Well, I strongly disagree that it's any better than the old one. Definitely because it allows people to, of course, relearn the whole, uh, like where everything's located. And of course, uh, after a while, you get used to it. But still, there's a lot of uh, room for improvement. Of course, they already added the uh, colors back to the uh, tools, which was a very, well, important update for the builders, of course. Uh, but there's just so much scrolling now, I don't like it at all. For example, changing the color of your, uh, well, the, the objects you're going to build or to. The, you used to have the palette where you could just tap the colors immediately, but now if I want to find the color section of the um, whatever it's called, um, I need to press recolor so I can even find where I can change the color itself. And it just takes up a lot more time than it used to, in my opinion. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Yeah, I just don't like the new one because 
in my experience I could not just I, I couldn't I, sometimes the buttons just don't press on the new ones and on the old ones I've oh. never had that problem it that has never appeared but the new ones just the buttons just don't press sometimes and it's really annoying when I want to just do some that is... stuff really fast I just can't do it that fast anymore maker pen teachers should be paid for what they do oh <gasps> I'm going over here again. Am I the only one who disagrees? I really don't care. <laughs> okay, so I think um, that maker pen teachers, um, depending on how much they teach, um, for example, there's like teachers that teach like three times a week, and um, they're spending a lot of time and also like a lot of work to um, teach um, players how to build, and I think um, for that they should be at least paid it at least in tokens I, I feel like the gowns the gowns are pretty nice and all that but i guess they're not like they're not enough i think you should be like paid for like for every semester that you do i'm gonna have to disagree the only reason i'm not on strongly disagree is because they already yeah well they get some kind of reward you get a gown you can get a maker pen skin but only if you complete certain hours if i remember correctly of teaching but then also, like, there are uh, quite a, a lot of people who take it seriously, who want, who really want to teach uh, people how to build. But there is also such a large community of people who just want all the rewards you can get, for example, the Maker Pen skin and the gowns. I mean, I, I think they get paid enough with the, uh, like, awards from the Maker Pen skins and the gowns, in my opinion. Even if it's just, like, like, I think, like, after they complete the 50 hours or something, they can earn like 250,000 tokens. Even just that is so much better than not any, earning anything at all. It's a pretty low amount in comparison to like the amount of uh, work that other people put into like rooms and stuff and how much they earn in the hours that they invest in rooms. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing. With that being said, thanks for watching the video and have a good one.